when compared to traditional 2D specimen imaging, three-dimensional tomosynthesis gives surgeons and radiologists a better view of the specimen anatomy and enables a reduction in positive margin rates. Consider this traditional 2D image of an excised breast specimen. We can see microcalcification, the biopsy clip, and a marker seed, all apparently centered in the specimen where we expect them to be. Now let's review the specimen x-ray as a line representation. The specimen is shown as a single planar two-dimensional shape with no indication of margin involvement. But geometry is crucial to the analysis of surgical specimens because a breast specimen is not a two-dimensional object. When imaged, a surgical breast specimen is irregularly shaped and deformed by lack of adjacent tissue support. Now we can see that the lesion is actually on the peripheral margin. A traditional 2D x-ray gives you a single planar projection of the specimen, and this can give you a misleading impression. In this case, it indicates an uninvolved margin. The use of orthogonal views is often confused with true three-dimensional imaging. First, a traditional 2D image is taken. Then the specimen is rotated 90 degrees, and the specimen shape is further deformed by movement, changing the relative positions of the lesions and markers. In this case, both views show an apparently uninvolved margin, because 2D orthogonal views are not equivalent to a true three-dimensional image. In fact, an orthogonal view is simply a single planar view from a different angle. Only three-dimensional specimen tomosynthesis gives you a true three-dimensional view of the specimen anatomy. Three-dimensional tomosynthesis enables you to view the specimen in one millimeter digital slices. Each slice has its own margin. In this case, we can see a positive peripheral margin on slice four. Each slice is created and can be viewed independently of the others. In this case, the slices above and below slice 4 have no margin involvement. This enables the surgeon to analyze the extent of lesion penetration and involvement of the peripheral, anterior, and posterior margins, completely unobscured by slices above or below. So considering the example, using 3D tomosynthesis, the surgeon would conclude that there is a positive peripheral margin on slice 4 and as a consequence can excise additional tissue at that precise location during the operation. Using traditional 2D imaging, the surgeon would conclude that there is no margin involvement and this would result in a positive margin on final pathology. As a consequence, the patient would be scheduled for re-excision. The following images compare 3D tomosynthesis analysis and traditional 2D imaging using clinical specimens. Looking at the 2D image, we can see that the microcalcifications are there. The problem is we don't know where there really is in relation to the margins. Using 3D tomosynthesis, we can analyze the specimen in 1 mm slices. On the 0 mm slice, we are actually looking at the very tip of the anterior margin. On the one millimeter slice, we can see the microcalcifications coming into focus just one millimeter from the anterior margin. As the scan progresses, we can see that the microcalcifications extend from slice one to slice six, and that no microcalcifications extend beyond slice seven, and that the posterior margin is uninvolved. Using traditional 2D imaging, the surgeon would conclude that the clips are present, microcalcifications are present, and the margin is apparently uninvolved. As a consequence, the positive margin would be discovered on final pathology. Using 3D tomosynthesis imaging, however, the surgeon would conclude that the microcalcifications are only one millimeter from the anterior margin. The microcalcification extends to the six millimeter slice. The periphery is clear on all slices and the posterior margin is clear. As a result, the surgeon can excise additional anterior tissue during the procedure prior to final pathology analysis. The Mozart system. Only the Mozart system uses 3D tomosynthesis to show your surgical margins as they really are. Only from CubTech.